Okay, so we're out and about. It's, um, we will keep being asked if we want a taxi and stuff like that, and that's fine. Yeah, I've had many a good night out at a place called the bus stop. So funny. This is right outside the resort. There's bars and restaurants and a gym you can go to as well. And then back in the hotel, we were showing you around the restaurant. The food is absolutely lovely. This is the coffee corner that you can see. You can get coffees, drinks from the bar, that sort of thing here. And then the main lobby area, which is so comfy and really stylish. You can just sit there and read a book, you can listen to the entertainment, have a drink, play cards with your friends. And as you come down this main staircase, at the bottom there, you can see lots of different shops. There's loads of things you can get in there. You can get things like toothpaste and sun cream. They've also got some souvenirs, some jewellery, clothing, and it's really great to give those guys a little bit of business there. You come through this area into the outside area where the bar is and the entertainment. The gardens are kept so beautifully. Jasmine and I went to watch the sunrise on this morning, which is going to be in the next video that you'll see. So this is the beach area. It's very easy to walk to. You just walk across a little path. There is the beach bar. And then you literally just walk across this very small path back into the resort. So you don't need to leave the resort at all to access the beach. If you use this pathway left or right, you can go for quite a long walk and there's lots of security guards along there between the different hotels. So it's a great place to go. You sometimes see joggers down there when it's sunset time. To the left as we're heading back is the Mermaid Restaurant. You see the thatched roof there. Great place to sit and have your lunch. It's generally served to you from there. And there are shady areas as well. I get asked so many questions and it's really good to try and address as many of those as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, so the Mermaid Restaurant is lovely for lunch. And in the evening time at the moment, this turns into a Italian restaurant. Um, which is one of the a la carte. You can book two a la cartes here. One is the Asian restaurant, one is the Italian restaurant. So it's not the most massive resort, it's really easy to walk around, very accessible as well. This that you can see now is the big swimming pool. So this is generally used more in the summertime or the hotter months because in the cooler months it's the little swimming pool which is um, warm and that's heated they've just moved depends what time of year you're coming but the entertainment will take place in the big swimming pool both of them have swim up bars which is lovely and they get such a good vibe when it's a busier month So you go across this bridge to the other side and you can... There is the swim up bar. They generally pump out some music from there. So whether you want to engage in that or not, there's always a quiet area and a more busy area with the entertainment and the music. So you can choose what you like. The beach is generally quite quiet as well. We never found a problem at this resort with sunbeds. There's never been this issue of reserving sunbeds or anything like that. Within the swimming pool, some of the areas are deeper, some of them are more shallow. great for kids as well and they've put this little smaller swimming pool like for babies um, just near the sort of pergola kind of area so you've got plenty of shade there and it's 0.4 meters so very shallow there are lifeguards on the resort as well lots of them and they are very attentive we saw lots of um, 
attention being paid to what was happening. That gorgeous sunrise. We loved it. This was the morning we went on the boat. That's going to be in another video too. So you just walk through these beautiful gardens. And then you go into the next area there, which is the little swimming pool. So we're heading away from the beach now, back to the main area. If you, as you look at the beach, the left-hand side is known as the sunny side, if you're looking for rooms. And the right-hand side is more in the shade. It's, you know, it's Egypt, it's never shady. Um, and if you want to be in this area where the little swimming pool is, if you choose the numbers that are in the teens for the bedrooms, so on the sunny side, they'll begin with, with a two, and on the other side, they begin with a one. See this bit of the pool, 1.5 meters. So if you, if you go between sort of 10 and 19, you'll be near the smaller swimming pool. It's quite good because you're then about halfway to the beach, halfway to the main reception and, and restaurant areas. So again, another swim up bar. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to leave your comments below and any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. There also in the description box is a link to a Facebook group where you can come and ask other people questions. And don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. There's loads of other videos. So I look forward to seeing you in those.